the play in Kansas City and Cincinnati, Marquez Valdez Scantling is reaching for the first down line. He reaches the ball out and pulls it back. Two things here. First one, why didn't replay assist chime in there? Reed had to call a timeout and then throw the challenge flag. Uh, well, which because, So why, yeah. why didn't they chime in there? Isn't that exactly what they're there for? Yes, that is. Um, I think uh-huh. it was a really close play. You had to determine, did they actually give forward progress? Did you have forward progress um, on that play? But to me, that was an example of one that if you had the clear shot, which they did to mm-hmm. get to the solid line, the hash mark that showed that he reached that line, then, you know, you should be able to change that. But let's, let's, you know, we've talked about this before when it comes to a full-time sky judge, we're, we're taking steps and we're getting there, but it's still new. And when you have championship weekend, you know, everything's a little bit, there's always more pressure tied into it. And, and sometimes you you may not do something that afterwards you think you should have, but mm-hmm. that is one where I do think they probably could have jumped in and 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 saved the challenge. And that even that statement there bothers me because if you save a challenge for one team and don't save a challenge for another, right? Um, and you have the ability to do that, that's that's a bit of inequity, and that's the thing that does concern me to a to a degree. But in that one. I, I do feel they could have made the change. Yeah, and 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 then the question is though, because I got a lot of uh, uh, rule book experts on my Twitter feed saying like the, a first down line to gain is not like breaking the plane of the end zone. That the fact that Valdez Scantling pulled the ball back means he shouldn't have gotten the yardage. Is that true or that's not true? Well, that's not true. I mean, if it's a goal line, the play's over. Right. I mean, that ends. It doesn't end in the field of play. But if you are in contact with a defensive player, yes. then you get the forward most progress spot. It doesn't end at that point, but it, it's, uh, it's, it's treated completely different than the goal line plane. So that the only question becomes actual progress. Where do you reward pro- award progress? So that's the forward most point of the ball when in contact by a defender, and, and that is reviewable only in regards to the line to gain, the first down line or the goal line, but it is two different things. What happened on the play in Kansas City where it looked like the Bengals are getting off the field? They stop on third down. Hold on a second. Uh, the play has to be replayed over again because it was whistled by one official all the way in the secondary because of a play clock issue, something like that? What, what happened uh, well, there? And again, now this is why I said at the beginning of the conversation, I mean, I think at times it was overused, this this video assist. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, the, they adjusted the spot of the ball late in the, in, the, um, in the play clock. They adjusted it by a half a yard. So they had the line of scrimmage official come in and move the ball a half a yard. I mean, and so then – they have to reset the play clock because the play clock was too low. So they reset the play clock, stop the game clock, and and then and then all of a sudden they have to make it. The referee Ron Torbort has to make an announcement as to when to start the clock. And depending on who's you know you hear what he said, you mm-hmm. know start the clock on my signal. The timer did it. It wasn't supposed to run. And then the side judge comes in and you know he's. It's it's so loud, and he's he's not in there very quickly, but it becomes, you know, a redo. It becomes a mess, and that's overuse of this video assistant. Why are we moving the ball a half a yard when it's third and nine? I mean, I get it if it's third and one or third and a half. I get it there, but third and nine, and you're going to move the ball half half a ball length or half a yard, um, you know, when the, with the play clock running. I mean that's 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 mismanagement of it, which creates a fiasco. And with all of the stuff that happened this weekend, where you know the officials are targets, I mean that's one that's self-imposed because it's it's not mm. using common sense. So um, I, I think in some cases we have to be patient, I guess, and and trying to get the system to where it works smoothly and try to get the advantages and disadvantages out of it. But um, I guess you just have to take your lumps. But that, to me, was just not well handled so at you're, all. So you're saying that moment <laughs> in a championship game where a head coach is being told by officials, we have to replay this down 
that you think brought about a punt that you aren't off the field. You're actually still on the field in this game. That domino effect started with a replay assist to try and respot the ball by a half yeah. yard is what you're saying. And then, and then, of course, what happens? I mean, then, of course, it's it's the typical the way of thing when things went for officials. So what happens? They They never had a play, so they just void the play. So what happens on the next play? Oh, they sack Mahomes. Okay, well, okay, good. Uh oh, defense holding. holding. Now Kansas City ends up getting the first down. But then you they, but then, but then those, then they, they, they did not score. They did eventually punt. But of course, you know, time's taken off the clock and field position changes. I mean, everything does affect everything else. And 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 obviously, Kansas City wound up having the ball last. Um, that was a good flag on Joseph Asai for shoving. Mahomes, yeah, in your estimation? I mean, I feel bad for the kid. And, you know, he tried to say he was trying to, you know, push him backwards so the clock would remain running. You know, he's just he was just a kid that was in a chase. And, and uh, I mean, I feel bad, but there was contact, and both feet were down out of bounds. You know, I, I would say this, that if they didn't call that, there would be more controversy than there is now with the fact that they did call it. Um, it it's, it's one of those that are – clear cut now everybody wants to go back to the play and say oh well the left tackle held and on the punt return there was a block in the back you know I I get it I've looked at both plays I mean they are both kind of iffy plays Um, but the fact of the matter is you know at the end of the game like that especially when it relates to player safety you want to call what is there and um, and to me that was a very clear foul. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.